everyone, my name is Emma. Welcome to Emma Rosen Books. Today I wanted to talk to you about the music I like to listen to when I'm writing. I love music. I am a big fan of all different kinds of music and I play some instruments as well and I like to sing and it just means so much to me. I'm also not very good at being in silence so I always have some music playing or an audiobook on or a podcast, even when I'm walking somewhere. I'm, I really hate it when it gets dark and I can't have headphones in. It literally just went dark as I said that. Um, when it goes dark and I can't have headphones in anymore, it really bugs me because I just constantly like to listen to stuff. Um, before I get into the kinds of music that I like, I just wanted to apologise for the fact that you can probably hear in my voice that I've had a head cold for a few days and, you know, um, I'm actually filming this video a couple of days later than usual because I just sounded awful. But uh, but yeah, I'm fine. Um, no no coronavirus symptoms, just uh, just a head cold. So yeah. Um, now these kinds of music I'm going to go through. I'm I'm not going to play any of them because of copyright. But what I will do is put a link to an example. So if it's a band or an artist that you haven't heard of, um, then you can go and click on those and see if you like them too. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to actually share it in the video. Also, it would be a bit awkward playing music and just being like, here's some music. So let's get into the few examples I've got here. So in terms of a type of music that I come back to over and over again, I love classical guitar music. I find it very soothing and nostalgic and I can also ignore it, which is really helpful. If I need to write something I need to really focus on, but I want quite a relaxing, gentle background music, I will go for classical guitar. I Guitar was the first instrument I learned. I started playing it when I was six and the first thing I learned was classical guitar and I probably played it until I was about 18 and then kind of went more into a folky style and I wasn't exceptionally good at it. I kind of went through phases where I was quite good but not not any kind of amazing talent or anything. Um, so I love to play it. I am a fan of classical guitar. My dad um, also plays a bit of classical guitar so it's it's something for me that's quite emotional, particularly I like John Williams because that's, you know, my dad loved John Williams. Cavatina is such a special piece of music to me because my dad used to play it to me. So I find John Williams's music, I used to have a cassette tape of it, but yeah, absolutely love his, his uh, guitar playing. And that's one where I'll often ask, Alexa, don't want to say, oh, she hurt me. Um, <laughs> Normally, so this is the thing, she hates me. When I actually want her to listen, she doesn't listen. But when I'm trying to secretly say her name, she lights up like a little, we're not friends. Alexa, why do you hate me? You seem all right to me. Yeah. I also really love Anna Vidovich. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. I discovered her on YouTube. She's an amazing classical guitar player. I love her style. I particularly like her version of Asturias, which is the classical piece of music from um, Spanish Caravan by The Doors. So yeah, love it. I'll just try and find a playlist of her playing or I'll put on one of her videos and then leave it running and hope that YouTube kind of keeps following her because sometimes it does, doesn't it, when next video will still be her. Or sometimes it shows me whole new artists that I didn't know about, so how? So, um, yeah, I really, really like her. Another kind of classical music that I enjoy is piano. I don't know a lot about piano music, but I just like the sound of it. So I don't particularly have a certain pianist that I like or certain pieces that I like. I'll tend to ask, you know, to put on some piano music or again, I'll find a playlist. I can't necessarily recommend you something specific because I really do just randomly say, yeah, I want some piano music and yeah. So I can't say specifically, but actually piano again is a really nice thing to write to. Personally, I don't like piano versions of 
songs, like pop songs, and pop songs, how old am I? Um, of, you know, you know, songs that people have heard of because I find I then concentrate on what they're playing because it's a tune I recognise. I'd rather it was just melodic. In fact, I'd rather I didn't know it when it comes to piano music because it just then can become lovely background music and I can just enjoy it. So I'm looking at kind of quite gentle things that are almost like the waves, that kind of thing. That's what I'm into um, when it comes to piano and kind of classic, class, <laughs> classic classical guitar as well. I found a um, classical, I suppose, playlist that I've listened to a number of times which is sort of orchestral music. I stumbled across it and I really like it. I used it a lot for a period of time, so now I don't listen to it so much because I know it too well, if that makes sense. But I'll link it below and it's just some really lovely pieces. So yeah, I'll put that below. That's kind of my instrumental section. Those are my go-to Things. If I want some instrumental music while I write, I'm going to go either classical guitar, piano, that specific playlist, or maybe another playlist of where I'll, I'll just look up music to write to, or I might ask her for relaxing classical music or something like that and see what we come up with. So that's what I go with if it's instrumental. Now I do sometimes listen to music with words. Sometimes I can't concentrate if I listen to anything that's got lyrics because I'm one of those people that picks up the lyrics to songs really easily because I don't know, I just do. Although people who know me really well will say that I don't pick up the lyrics to songs, that I know maybe 30% of the lyrics and make the rest up, which is true. But I, I have a really good memory for how songs go and what the lyrics are. And I'm one of those people as well that if somebody says something, I can think of a song that's got, I'm, I'm that guy. So I sometimes find it very, very hard to focus if music has somebody singing, but not always. So it depends what mood I'm in. So one band that I really like to listen to when I'm writing is Walk Off The Earth. They were the guys who got really famous probably six or seven years ago when they did Five People and One Guitar and they did a cover of um, Gautier, um, somebody that I used to know. And, but their music is, is amazing. I think that song was kind of a bit overplayed, but if you look them up, I especially like their song Red Hands. I think it's just, oh. Um, they've got quite a folky style. Some of their older music videos are quite funny. My kids used to like watching them. Um, and they, I just really like their style. They, they've changed over time and at the moment they've got quite a different style because they're one of their members who's Beard Guy. He died two years ago maybe. So that's really changed what they do because he was an integral part of the band. So, but yeah, I'm a big fan of theirs and really, really enjoy their music, particularly their debut album, which I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, I'll link one of their songs below for you to have a look at if you don't know them. The next band that I really enjoy, or well, singer, is Eddie Reader. She is my absolute favourite singer. So she's famous for being the lead singer in Fleet, not Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> in Fairground Attraction, who most people have only really heard of Fairground Attraction because of their song, um, It's Got To Be perfect so them and the lead singer of that band I mean I loved Fairground Attraction and their their first album um First of a Million Kisses is my favorite album of all time but the lead singer I just adore her she's done lots of folksy stuff I've seen her twice live she did an amazing album of the songs of Robert Burns she's Scottish and she she made this musical version of, of his poems. There's also, I think, a few like traditional Scottish, um, you know, like traditional songs that aren't necessarily Robert Burns, I think. Um, but that album's lovely. So her, again, it's kind of a folky feel, which is quite nice as background music. Her voice is just beautiful, in my opinion. I just absolutely love her and could probably sing most of her songs. Um, also, my mum was a big fan, is a big fan of Fairground Attraction when I was growing up. 
it would be, it was one of the cassettes she had in the car along with Dr. Herc, the Eagles. Funny story, <laughs> my brother thought that there was a band called Dr. Hook and the Eagles because we had the two sides of the tape, one side was Dr. Hook and one side was the Eagles. So, um, what else do we have? I don't know. But Fairground Attraction was the one that we'd stick on and we'd both be singing, you know, driving to the shops or something. And So, again, I have real nostalgia over her and, and Fairground Attraction, but... Um, yeah, I would really recommend looking her up and her music and uh, Fairground Attraction as well. But for me, predominantly, it's her solo stuff that I'll listen to when I'm writing. Um, next up is Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac is a great one to put on just a random playlist because I love everything from their early, really bluesy stuff to the later stuff after Stevie Nicks joined. I used to not like the later stuff because I do really, really like blues. But I have learned to really love the later stuff as well. So if you put a playlist on, you're going to get a massive variety in the music they've done over the years. And so while you're listening, you'll get some of the kind of quite indie feeling music that they did later. But then also compared with the real weirdy, bluesy stuff. And so I just quite like it because you'll suddenly get something that's a bit different and... Um, plus some of their stuff is instrumental, which is, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'll put some of this, I think maybe I won't put things off of Rumours on, because I love Rumours, it's an amazing album, but I feel like lots of people have heard that, so I'll see if I can find something else of, of theirs, but, um, that I, that I like. So yeah, that's one of the ones that I will go, go for. And then recently, I've been writing to predominantly two things. So one is, I don't know how to say his name, which is such an embarrassment, but um, is it Avi or Avi Kaplan from the Pentatonics? So he left the Pentatonics and he now has a solo career. And I only recently discovered his, his music. I, I like the Pentatonics, particularly, um, what's it called? Run? Is it called Run? Um, but I'll, I'll put that below because I like that. But his music is quite sort of country-ish. It's a bit, I don't know, there's like elements of Johnny Cash because his voice is so low. Maybe elements of something like Jeff Buckley. It's just quite chilled but really beautiful. It makes you think of being in a wood cabin in the mountains in America and it's maybe a bit misty and there's just this beautiful music that to me that's what it sounds like. So again quite atmospheric, quite nice and just creates a nice ambience again. Um, so yeah, I've been listening to him a lot and then really recently, particularly when I've been editing and I find when I'm editing, I don't necessarily have to concentrate quite as much because I'm not creating, I'm just assessing and critiquing and I find that a lot easier than having to like really think deeply about, okay, what am I going to write next and finding the information. So, what I've been listening to lately is just a playlist that I've been asking her to, to play um, of 90s rock. And it's amazing. I just, I'm one of those people, I'll tend to be like, oh no, I did 90s music, no, I don't know. I mean, it's nostalgic, but no. Nah. But actually, I love 90s music. And I always thought I'm like, I like 60s and 70s rock, really, 70s particularly particularly quite bluesy, particularly things like Fleetwood Mac and Eric Clapton and I don't know, you get the idea. But actually, that is all a lie I've discovered. I actually really love 90s rock, so I've been enjoying listening to um, Alanis Morissette. Do you know, I mean, how I thought that I didn't like 90s music when Alanis Morissette was basically all I listened to when I was a teenager. So a lot of her, uh, Sheryl Crow, um, the Fun Loving Criminals, uh, Crash Test Dummies, the mm song, <laughs> um, what else have I been listening to? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, lots of the, oh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, all of that stuff, that stuff, oh, uh, the Goo Goo Dolls, I love them, saw them live once, um, so that's been the vibe that I've been going for and I've loved it because I'll be editing something and something comes on and I'll be singing along to it a bit but I find I can still concentrate. You're all going to read 
my latest things and be like, she wasn't concentrating, she was listening to music. Um, <laughs> this is why I pay an editor. But no, I've been, just the feeling, just the sort of happiness while I'm writing and just like, I'm having a great time, I love the music, I'm, you know, it's been, it's been good. So, but more distracting than usual, usual. So, yeah, that, those are like my favourites that I come back to. I listen to all sorts of stuff, but yeah, those are the main ones. Let me know what you'd like to listen to. I would love to know. And I'd, I'd, I would love to have new stuff as well. I, yeah, it's always good to, and I will definitely, if you let me know below who you'd like to listen to, I will check them out and try writing with them because, yeah, I, I, I like trying new music. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find, found it interesting. I will link some examples below of all those people I've talked about. Um, I'm going to go and uh, have a warm drink and... I was going to say like snuggle up but actually it's quite a warm day today. I hope you're all alright, um, please like if you did, please leave me a comment and tell me who you listen to and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care.